do some fly fishing today. So recently I went camping my local river spot and this was kind of a preliminary test for some summer camping that we're going to be doing. You know, our son Ben, he's going to be two years old this summer and that was when we first started taking Emmy camping and she was able to uh, hang around camp and basically not get into too much trouble. So we wanted to kind of test the waters with the Opus and him and see how he's going to do because this summer we're planning on doing quite a bit of camping and myself doing quite a bit of fishing. And when we go to the river, I always carry a couple of fishing poles and usually I'm throwing mostly the meat getter right here. This is the, the new Guggen uh, series micro, uh, the micro rods, which are a light rod meant for throwing, you know, finesse, tackle, really light stuff like these little rooster tails, uh, little spinners, you know, really small jigs, crappie fishing, of course, bluegill, things like that. But I always carry the fly rod as well. I have a little four piece breakdown. This is what I carry when I'm hunting and, and going in the back country. It's, it's just easy to carry. So it's always in my truck. And I usually break it out the river because one or the other is typically better. And I am not good at fly fishing. So I'm very confident. And I would suggest you guys, uh, if you've never been trout fishing, uh, start out with one of these spinning combos just to kind of get the feel of where the fish line up and where they are. The fly can be absolutely dominant and I've seen it happen uh, plenty of times while I'm out there and other places where I am fishing the spinners or other things and just not getting as many bites or not getting bit at all and I'm watching somebody just slay trout on a fly. And it's sort of like fishing hard baits versus plastics. Sometimes those hard baits in certain situations are really feeding good. It's much more efficient. Uh, you can sometimes catch bigger fish. You know, you can really get them going with uh, fishing a hard bait lure like this on the spinning combo. And then it's like the soft plastics at times, are, they're just dominant. You're just getting so many more bites when they're not willing to chase down a hard bait or, or a fast moving bait. It was one of those fly type situations at the river, y'all. So I strapped on my camera broke out my fly rod and I had my best day trout fishing on a fly I've ever had. So roll that beautiful trout footage. Heading out for a day of fishing. Got my fly in hand. I'm gonna walk into the water with my buddy in his net. Gonna give her a little dangle. Try a couple angles and enjoy the beauty. That God has made. Thank you very much. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna do a little fly fishing. My buddy Lance, he's got all the flies today. I've got a net, I've got a stringer. And we're gonna see uh, if I can stay upright. Woo! How we looking there? Yeah, you're my stick, dude. Looks like it got a little deep there. There's a big rock there, be careful. It looks pretty still. How deep do you think we are here? That's not here. Right here. Probably, uh... That's the jam, huh? Four feeter-ish. Four feeter-ish. Four feeter-ish. Okay. Oh, no. All right, let's let's grip it and rip it here, folks. We got a got a moon above. Got a mega worm tied on. Let's see if we can dangle one up.
Oh yeah. Right in the juice there. Right in the bubble stream. Come on now. Just gotta get my length correct. Length is too high right now. Gotta get a little more on it. I got I gotta get a little longer leader. I'm right here for reference. It's a little short. It's definitely no bathtub out here. It's pretty frosty. There she is. Oh, she's in the honey pot. Come on. We're in the zone. Oh, I just had him. I had him going there, Lance. We got it, got our depth correct now. Now we're gonna snatch some jowls. Come on, baby. Can't believe Lance is not hooked up yet. What a loser. Trying to put this thing right in these bubbles. Where the bubbles are moving the fastest. It's a easy way to see the current. And it looks like my length now is, is correct. Got the proper drift. I just had one eat it. getting so many bites I'm just not connecting I'm so hungry too I'm losing focus blood sugar level low can he do it can he get her done oh ah ah Got him. There we go. That's what's up. I knew I was gonna get you eventually, bro. Whoa, he's running right by my feet. That was sick. Look at this. Look at this guy. He's running by my feet. What have we got here? He likes me. He's about to swim into my net. Woohoo! Fun times. Hey, amigo. Little buddy. Little buddy. You are so fun. Got you just barely in the top of the schnoot, my guy. hook's probably gonna just fall out yeah that's why um, you know if I didn't have a light fly rod that fish would have been gone or 5,000 all right I'm gonna let him go he's not, a, not exactly a, a, a wall hanger get back out here with with the mop fly which I've had a lot of bites on I'm just not connecting very much could have something to do with the poor, the poor tying that my buddy Lance did. Let me try uh, wrapping this mother trucker up. Hey, you got any more of these? Someone did a really <laughs> job tying this. If I miss another one, I'm gonna have to get into your stash. Fish had some fight on it for not being. That big, this current, I think, definitely helps give them a little boost. The whole key here, though, guys, is to 
Look at these cars. There's another one. That one's it's got shoulders. The key is just look at that current, time that drift. Oh yeah, this guy's micro nugget. Let him let him do his little dance. All these fish are gonna die, so I probably should keep them. But they're just a little small. Same thing, just barely hooked in the schnoot. They're not exactly sucking this thing in. They're not sucking it too hard. Okay, let that one go. It's just not a quality eater. But now that we're getting our, our system dialed, I actually start catching them pretty good. Me and my good buddy Lance, we are uh, we're going to Colorado together this year to do some more intricate fly fishing, try to catch some bigger trout. Um, Going to get serious. Got the old tree pounder, huh? I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a little better rod for doing this. Get the proper setup. There's another one. Just smashing them right now. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, jumper. Six pound line. Put it in that straight angle, baby. Oh yeah. Come on, sea biscuit. Might actually be a never. I actually go on the string. Yeah. Okay, you're going with me, buddy. I think you're gonna have to go with me. There we go. What feels good? Smash right into one. Right into their schnoot. Take that limber rod, just like crappie fishing, and smack a big crappie. That's so good. But like I said, all these fish are going to die in the summer. These are stocked trout, so do not feel bad about keeping a little one or a big one. Got our leader length figured out. I like this fly. We have the drift timing semi-dialed. Gotta get that hook set figured out. There we go. Oh, it lands with a jumper, baby. Look at that. It's my boy. It's my boy. Pretty good one. Oh, I just have one right there, too. Pretty nice one. Nice I ain't getting skunked today. Yeah, I kind of like using this, this white. There's one. Oh, come on. This white fork. Because it looks like the bubbles. I can't tell what it is, but I see it. I'm gonna hook into a big one. I got two and a half, three pounder. Fill that thunder. There we go. Come on, baby. Give me some of that. Give me some of that energy. Oh yeah. Oh, he's staying down. Staying down, not vibrating this. We could we could have a little shoulder. Oh, he's vibrating. Oh, that's a good one. It's a nice one, bro. This one might make the trophy wall. Good one? Pretty decent, yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, look at that. That is, quite honestly, my PB out here. Definitely on fly. And I believe we will uh, take him home. He actually, he actually put it in his grill. Don't you do it? Don't you? Don't you do that? You little Sally, sassy Sally. All right. Yeah. We're gonna get our net back on here, and then we're gonna get. Our fly line untangled. 
bad news, bears. Shoot. Yeah, I got a little, uh, got a little s situation here. Yeah, you should have a little new stringer. Yeah, I, I did get a new one. I forgot it. There we go. Come on, sugar. There you go. Oh, you little devil. Come on, Sally. Look at that little Cheeto. Oh, she wanted that Cheeto. She wanted that Cheeto. Ooh, I can feel them trout tugging on me under my, my waders. Oh, goodness. Just keep barely missing them right there. Definitely a hot zone. Oh yeah, Lance is, Lance is he's dialed now. He's bopping him. Oh, I didn't tie this one. This is not my tie. Are you sure? Yeah, he has a barb on it. Feels pretty shoddy. Here, you want a new one? Sure. Give me a proper mega worm. Yeah, that. Oh, you went over my line. Oh, you already got it. Thank you. Let's get an orange head and a Cheeto buddy. Man, this one you gave me is like heavier. Yeah, I think this one you gave me is heavier. It's pulling down my cork. Oh yeah, the tungsten. Why? It's the tungsten, geez. Some serious stuff, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put another cork on here. I got one. <laughs> Look at that. I just kind of checked it. Kind of pulled into it. They, they like coming right next to me. Look at this runner. Come here, my guy. You've met your, you've met your end. You had a good run. You had a good run. But you fell for the mega. Oh, that hook just popped right out. I love it when that happens. All right, I don't really want to touch you that much because my hands are freezing. So just do the old one hand meat necklace grab. Put you on here for a little bit. Yes, sir. And we're going in. Those are three nice trout, guys. Those are three good trout. So we got our we got our three meters. Now we're just trying to catch a slaunch. Hey, hey, you got any uh, bigger corks? Corks? Yeah, I can't see my indicator now. I have a minor, I, I'll have a small one. These ones. All right. So my homeboy Lance just hooked me up with an indicator. <clears throat> Not a bobber for the for the layman. And uh, this thing right here, uh, it's pretty slick because it looks like a bubble, but literally uh, cannot see my stuff. So actually, you know what? I'm just going to leave this. I'm going to leave this little sea biscuit on here. All right. Then we're going to twist this little baby. All right. Twist and rip it right in there see if our worms twisted it is you get a twisted worm you are screwed cannot deal with a twisted worm but something really interesting that I learned on this trip is the use of a tippet ring Lance showed me this I've always just tied the line directly to the fly line and that's not the best way to do it so you tie a tapered fly line and then you have a tippet ring and then you put your tippet on which in this case I'm using some six pound fluorocarbon the other nifty thing is this indicator I've never used one like this Lance hooked me up with it and it is a screw on 
so it goes directly on your line and it holds tight it's better than the cork the cork works all right but this the screw on one works really well especially if you use the tippet ring and it almost acts as a stopper what do we got here got the old double cork on there now double the pleasure yeah you ever seen anything like that it's called the double double rig baby you can really see that thing bop under under the surface now oh yeah there she blows <clears throat> look at that double cork baby double cork bobbing oh yeah double hookup double, up. double. <laughs> that's what i'm talking about ah yes sir nicely done lance feel like they're getting bigger see you my guy so I'm gonna return these to fish now because I've got my three and I think I just figured out a little, little spot right about there it's just just on the back side of that moving bubble trail I'm ready to bop another one. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun watching that court go under. There we go. Gave her the old little twitch pop. Look at that jumper. Yes, sir. Woohoo! Oh, he come off. I, it was it was a good show though. We had a good showing. It's a like button worthy smash. Worm got twisted on me. Man, you're getting bit right there, huh? Let me try that. Let's see if there's some right out in front of me here. That I'm missing. Oh yeah, we got bit right there. That's kind of fun. A little up close and personal action. He had it for a minute. Yeah. Or you got to throw it deep out there. Yep, I think so too. I actually watched watch my indicator slowly moving off like a bass bite. So he had it for a hot minute. What a fight. What a guy. What a guy. That guy out there, there we go. Send you on your way, little bud. Okay. Man, this is, this is pretty fun, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Lance has kind of got me into the, the fly game a little bit and <clears throat> freeze your dick off sometimes, but it is uh it's honestly challenging and exciting. Once you learn how to cast the rod, that's the hardest part, quite honestly, casting the rod. And if you bass fish, you kind of know how to read rivers and streams, so that part's not too terribly hard to understand. <clears throat> it's, the, uh, it's the drift. It's understanding the, the proper presentation. It's a little different than bass fishing, but... Oh, it's a bass? Probably a smallmouth. It's pretty cool. Somebody just caught a bass down the river. Nice. You take that worm. You take that worm deep in your face. Just let me give you a little snappy hook set. It's going to be alright. We're going to let you go. Got our limit. We're just gonna let you go. Just looking for a hog. There we go. Ooh, good one. Come on now, baby. 
the shoulders here. What you gonna do? Oh yeah. Nice one here. This is a good one. Play them out a little bit. Look at that beautiful river. Buddy, buddy standing in the river. Got a giant trout on, he doesn't even know it. It's going out, it's going out to sea right now. Ooh, 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 baby! Dig in! Pretty nice. I think it's ready, it's ready to be netted. I was going out again. See that girth? You want you want to get him? It's going over towards you. Nice. That's a good fish right there. Dude, that's a nice fish. Good Holy fish cow. Blue. Heck yeah. You can take that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Man, I just got I just got double complimented. Yeah. Lance was pretty low-key about it. That was good. That's a good that's a good fish. I mean Heck yeah guys. See buddy? Beautiful fish. Unfortunately I can't keep that guy because I've already got three on my stringer so no culling allowed we're going to continue throwing this mega worm now that i know it rocks giants Ooh, first cast first cast fresh worm baby yeah yeah my last two have been pretty little. Fresh worm come out. Look at that. That is that is uh, just assembly line level stuff. Wish I could uh, catch white bass like that. Get them off the line. Boom, catch another one. One of the nice things about trout, they don't have any pokey spines. They're just a smooth, slippery, delicious fish. God, we are smacking some trout out here today, guys. Absolutely smacking. There's starting to learn there's a couple little spots. There's Lance with another one. There's a couple little key holes. You know, there's we're catching some right out in front of us and then there's some kind of out in the middle as well. There it is. Ooh. There we go. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah. Gonna ski this one in. Let's ski him in, baby. <laughs> Bass style. Uh, come here. Had him pegged. Let's see him again. That's it. That is the spot. Come on now. Show me the money. Mm. There we go. Ah, come off. Uh, 
that is the juice. Oh, got him. There he is. There's some shoulders. Oh, yeah. So he's got some beef. Oh, yeah. Look at that run, baby. Look at that. Mmm. It's beautiful. Up. Oh yeah, it's a nice one right there. Yeah, buddy. I will catch trout that size all day. That is fun. There we go. That's a good trout, guys. Good fight. I want to say this is like the most trout I've ever caught on a fly. Hey, buddy. <laughs> How many trout did we catch? I would say 50 plus combined. 50 plus combined trout. That was an awesome day of trout fishing. Of course, could only keep three trout, but I had so much fun whacking them in a spot where just throwing the spinner, I would have gotten some bites, but just putting it in that exact spot every time, so key, and of course having the right fly on and just catching them one after the other after the other. You know, I realized this this setup right here that I have, it's, it's just a backpack setup. Uh, I really need to get more dialed on the equipment for going after bigger fish and doing more uh, straight nymphing, you know, Euro nymphing style without the ind indicators and things like that, uh, but I'm learning. I'm learning and I'm sure some of y'all that fly fish are gonna be dropping comments, telling me what uh, what I'm doing wrong and what I need to do and what flies are great. And I appreciate that. Go ahead and drop those comments, help everybody out in the process. You know, I've always fished uh, in the, up in the mountains when I go camping, but I've never really dialed in fly fishing and that is really the way that you catch those big ones, those big lazy ones, just like bass that they've got their certain spot, they don't wanna move and just throwing a lure over their heads, although sometimes it may get them, it's it's not comparable to the fly. That's really how you dial it in. So I wanna get uh, my, my setup, maybe have a couple of setups ready to go, jump in the Opus, take the family, and go do some camping this summer. So thank you guys for tuning in today. If you wanna stay tuned for more videos around the house, the lake, the woods, subscribe right here to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.